QSC touch mix 16 you can see the condition a little rust how is it see here so uh, this customer he said he, so he played the music by the beach and that's why there is a lot of rust so the problem here Yeah, the green light is on. I can see some blue light over there. It's waiting for the touch mix. Okay, yeah, you can see the blue light more clear now. It means the touch mix is finished booting. But we see nothing on the display. And that's what is the problem. You can see no display at all. It's not just no backlight. The customer said before, when he has the problem, he tap on the he tap on the on the touch mix and the display back again. So let's take it apart and look at it quick. Missing that two screws over there. So the board itself, it looks okay. I don't see a like a lot of rust. Okay, let's disconnect this one. Yeah, the connector looks very clean. Or about here, yes, there is. Need a really good cleaning here. Yeah, I can see some rust. You can see the sand. Yeah, the output capacitors look as good. I do have a screen, we're going to test it. So this is the, chip, the screen from the other touch mix. And well, let's see if we can get any display. Yeah, we got the display. Yeah, it works. So now that the screen it work, or we know the board it work, and because we use it with our screen, and let's put it together and see. Are we gonna be lucky? The screen is gonna work just by cleaning it. That's quick cleaning. No picture. No picture. So basically we have a bad screen. Okay, can we save this screen?
Yeah, the backlight uh, connector looks good. So why we have no picture? That looks clean. There is no like corrosion and the backlight look fine. Let's try. Oh, basically, yeah, there is a picture. Let me see if we can see. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, definitely. Okay, let's see. Yeah, there is a picture. Okay, let me see if we can. Okay, yeah, now you can see the picture here. Yeah, there is a picture, but the backlight doesn't work. Yeah, it was hard to tell if the because this is this is not a glossy screen, and it's kind of hard to tell about the backlight but yeah definitely we have the picture but we have no backlight and let's plug it to the power and we see the voltage and the backlight if we have definitely we are going to have the voltage because the other screen works twenty seven volt so the voltage is good and the problem is in the screen itself, like in the backlight and the LEDs. I know this screen is very expensive, it's about like $500 the screen from the QSC. Let's take the, the backlight. Oh, how? Oh. It's right here. You see that? Both cables is is getting bad.
I see the backlight. I did see the backlight, but I didn't see the display. Oh, the cable is not connected good. But I did see the backlight. That's a good thing. So let's plug it again. Yep, it works. So, so it's something about the software upgrade. So we just have to put it together, then it should be done. Yeah, could be this is like moving. And that's why the cable it's cracked but we're gonna do it. Pinch it a little bit from here, so can make a little pressure on the screen. Plug it just to be sure the touch screen works. Yep, it's screen work. Look is good. Yep, it works. So this is all for this video. Thank you for watching and see you again.